Hi, it's Vicky here and today I'm uh, taking part in a video hop showcasing the Sending Sunshine kit. So this is the kit and it's uh, from uh, Create a Smile stamp company. The card kit ships from Germany and uh, I think it's uh, of exceptional quality and it's packed with goodies. So let's start. This is a stencil with bubbles that perfectly matches the theme of uh, the card kit. And there is also a package full of um, good veneer uh, cutouts. I am going to grab a um, cardstock so I can put uh, all those good veneers on top so that you can see the designs better. There are clouds, there are uh, lemon slices or orange slices, there is this uh, cool sunshine uh, cut out as well as an ice cream. Everything that is included in this kit is of exceptional quality and I cannot recommend this uh, kit enough. Also this is a great kit for uh, new card makers since it's packed of, uh, with goodies that uh, you can use. So for example there is a washi tape, I am going to peel off a piece so you can see the design. There are some uh, transparent arrows, I am going to stick it on my cardstock so you can see the design better. There is also a package with uh, enamel dots. The enamel dots come in uh, four different colors with arrows, uh, droplets circles and etc. And uh, there is also a die. This die actually matches perfectly this uh, die cut, uh, the good veneer die cut. And uh, it's an ice cream. There are also three different uh, flares. You can see that the colors perfectly match the color theme of uh, the whole kit. And uh, what is really adorable about this kit is the stamp set. I really love both of the <laughs> cute little images as well as the lovely sentiments. The kit also comes with pattern paper. The pattern paper is uh, thicker than uh, the usual one and I just love that because it's uh, great and sturdy for backgrounds. And uh, you can see the lovely colors and designs. There are 12 different pattern papers and uh, they do have an A side, the one that you are looking at at the moment, and they do have a B side. So at the back you can see that they have a nice wood grain pattern in different colors. And what really surprised me about this kit was not only <clears throat> the amount and the quality of the goodies, but also the pouch. I think the pouch is just uh, adorable and uh, it's a great way to store your kit. And to all my European viewers, remember that this ships from uh, Europe and that means less uh, postal than package than the kits that come from uh, the US. So let's create a shaker card with this kit today. I am using uh, these uh, dies to create a frame and uh, I am going to place them exactly where I want them to be. I'm uh, taping them down with some post-it tape and now I'm going to pass it through my Sizzix uh, machine. So I am going to die cut a frame that has a nice stitching all around just because the dies that I've used had uh, the stitching which uh, really makes uh, your card look uh, more uh, professional and uh, finished. So now I am going to use uh, this white uh, cardstock and uh, I am going to use the stencil on top. I am checking with my frame to see if uh, that is going to be okay. So I am uh, going to tape it down with uh, my post-it tape and uh, I'll be inking it with uh, distress inks. So first of all I am going to bring in uh, tumbled glass. I am going all over the stencil with my blending tool and I'm not pr pressing too hard because I don't want to move the stencil. So although it looks like I'm moving uh, very fast, I'm actually being very gentle. I'm checking how it looks and now I'm going to bring a darker color. One of my favorite colors from the Distress Ink collection is Peacock Feathers. I'm going to bring in some color only at the bottom of the stencil and blend it out with uh, the tumbled glass. And now I'm ready for the reveal. I'm going to peel off the stencil and I just love the result. I am using my paper trimmer to make it smaller so that it uh, perfectly fits behind my window. I am using some uh, tape at uh, the back, tape adhesive at the back, and uh, I will uh, stick on top the um, transparency. This is just a piece of transparency that I have, so you can see I have a nice window there. Now all I have to do is to use my foam tape and create a wall all around that window. 
This will ensure that all the bits and pieces that I am going to put inside my shaker card are not going to go anywhere. I am also going to double up the tape adhesive just to make sure that uh, my sequins do have enough uh, space to move around. For my window I am going to add some uh, clear sequins. I don't want to have too many and I just love how they will look as if they are uh, bubbles inside the, wa the water at the end. So I am peeling off the tape adhesive and I'm going to stick my background on top and my shaker window for my card is uh, ready. For my focal point I am going to stamp uh, this adorable uh, jellyfish and I think that it's uh, so cute and uh, just because it has a face with uh, tiny little eyes and a smile. I am stamping it on a piece of white cardstock using Memento Toxito Black ink and uh, then I am going to use my distress inks to color it. At this stage you can use any uh, coloring uh, method that you love, like Copic markers or anything, or water coloring, but I just think that uh, using my finger dabbers with distress ink is uh, such a quick uh, method. I have uh, firstly applied some uh, mustard seed all over the jellyfish, and now with some spiced marmalade I am adding some shading. Once I'm happy with the coloring, I am going to use my scissors and cut out the image. For a chance to win this adorable card kit by Create a Smile, make sure to visit their blog. You can see the URL on the screen right now. I am using my black marker to go around the edges to get rid of the white edge and this will uh, make uh, the cutout look more finished as well as uh, it will look as if I have uh, cut out the image perfectly. So I am using some tape adhesive at the back of my shaker element and I am going to stick it on top of a standard card that's a four and a quarter by five and a half top folding card. And uh, now I have to stamp the sentiment. I am going for uh, the sentiment that says summertime, which I am going to stamp it with Audrey Blue by Simon Says Stamp. As always, you can find a full list of all the supplies that I'm using on my blog, as well as on YouTube just below the video. And just because I cannot stay away from my clear Wink of Stella glitter pen, I just had to go all over the jellyfish and add some shimmer. So now I can add some tape adhesive at the back of the jellyfish. I am trying to decide where this is going to go. And now I'm going to stick it over the shaker card. Just to add a bit of uh, highlight and some more interest on the jellyfish, I am using my gel uh, white pen to add some dots on uh, both the tentacles and uh, the main body of uh, the jellyfish. And to bring the jellyfish even more to life, I am going to use some glossy accents over the main body of the jellyfish and uh, this is going to make it uh, super shiny. And although it looks uh, kind of uh, milky at the moment as I apply it, it will dry super shiny and uh, very clear. I am going to pick up the card and uh, try to catch the light for you so you can see how shiny it looks. But check uh, also the photos at the end of the video. To finish off the card I am going to use some of those enamel stickers, so I have already added three yellow dots and I am also going to add uh, some arrows. I will stick five of those pointing to the sentiment and uh, trying to make sure that uh, they have um, equal distance one from the other. I'm just eyeballing it, but I think I did a pretty good job. Using uh, yellow enamels at uh, the bottom of my card kind of brings everything together since I have uh, a yellow jellyfish. And here are a couple of close-up photos of the card. So that was the card for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired. Click here to go to the next stop on the video hop and if you are watching from a mobile device then you can find all the links just below the video. Thank you all for watching!